This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Solid Arts. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view, uh, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. First, I will start uh, drawing from the top view. In the top view, first I will draw a center line here, and from this center line, I will offset and uh, in this direction 110 divided by 2 and in the opposite direction is 110 divided by 2 then from this point i'll draw a circle of uh, 55 radius and after that drawing the 55 radius circle uh, i will then make it a semicircle okay then i will then extrude was it to 98 unit so let's select the top plane now sketch now select a center line and draw a center line and this center line has a dimension of 185 minus the radius 55 if you want to see a clear view uh, here is is the dimension the total dimension is 185 so i am drawing uh, this line so i will minus this uh, 55 radius okay after that select this line and then select offset into this and offset it to 110 divided by 2 and reverse it by direction it and cap in line now press ok after that here we can see we have a semicircle of 55 radius this semicircle so first i will draw a circle and then i then i will trim it to a semicircle okay now selecting the circle and placing the circle to the origin now drawing a circle of 55 radius now select trim into this now trim the unnecessary part that we don't need now press ok as we can see the dimension is in red color so i will drag the extra dimension now it is uh, quite perfect now isometric it after that go to features and then extrude boss and extrude boss it to 98 unit now here we can see that we have an extrude cut of this portion and this portion has a dimension of vertical distance this has a vertical distance of 98 minus 25 and a horizontal distance and horizontal distance of 55 and i have another extrude cut in this portion in this portion the extrude cut has a horizontal distance of 70 and a vertical distance of 98 minus 68 so let's start drawing that portion so i am selecting the front plane now selecting sketch now normal to it after that select the corner rectangle and place the corner rectangle uh, in here and dimension it to vertical dimension 98 minus 25 and horizontal dim dimension is equal to radius okay i have done drawing one rectangle then i will draw the second rectangle the second rectangle has a vertical distance of 98 minus 68 and it has a horizontal distance of 70 unit now press ok now isometric it for a clear view then go to features and extrude cut now extrude cut it to uh, through all both side now press ok after that uh, in the next step i will draw i will draw this semicircle extrude cut portion and this semicircle extrude portion has a has a extrude cut here and this extrude cut we can say it has a dimension of 53 minus 25 so in this phase i will draw a semicircle here and this semicircle and from this semicircle uh, i will draw other thing and this semicircle has a dimension of 42 radius so let's start selecting the play face i am selecting this face now sketch it now normal to it now select 
circle place the circle to the origin and now dimension to 42 radius okay now press ok as you can see in this extra semicircle portion uh, we have no uh, soil surface to cut so I don't need to uh, make it total semicircle so if I is to cut this full circle it will also do the job so selecting features now is to cut and now is to cut it to 53 minus 25 now reverse the direction now press ok ok we have done that now if we see that we have another small circle and this small circle has a radius of 30 and it is through all in the bottom uh, uh, bottom side so again selecting the same surface now selecting a sketch now normal to it now select the circle and now place the circle to the origin and dimension it to 30 unit diameter now isometric it i select features now is to cut and is to cut it to uh, bottom face now press ok now here we can see uh, we have another shape here so i i will first draw this center line and from the center line i will i will draw a offset line and this offset line has a dimension of 28 and i also will draw another offset line in the other side also of dimension of 28 after that i will draw this semicircle and then i will close the shape and after that i will just cut it to 68 minus 25 because the extra cut portion is this portion okay and now i am selecting this face now is select a sketch now normal to it now select a sketch and select for this case select center line and place the center line to the middle point and dimension to 35 now press ok i have dimension it to 35 because it has a distance from here to here is 35 ok now select this line now select offset entities now dimension it to the same dimension as the radius 28 now press ok after that select the circle and draw a second circle of 28 radius now press ok for making the semicircle, I will select trim option and trim the unnecessary part. After trimming the unnecessary part, we have seen it has over dimension. So I will select one dimension and delete one of the dimension. Now we can see it is properly dimensioned. Now I submit ticket for a clear view. Now go to features and then is to cut and is to cut it to 68 minus 25 unit now press ok and at last we are quite fi fin uh, quite finishing uh, now i will draw this line by using convert entities and after that i will then offset entities in this side of 15 unit offset and from that i will draw a close boundary and from that i will to cut it to through all through the bottom surface now selecting this face now sketch now normal to it after that select this line now convert entities and offset entities select this line again and we can see with the, it has the offset of 15 unit so dimension it to 15 unit now by uncheck the bi-directional option check the reverse option now we can see we have the close shape now press ok now isometric it go to features and extrude cut and extrude cut it to through all uh, to the bottom now press ok for in here we can see this has this isometric view but our shape is 
like in the opposite for making this shape look like this uh, we i will select the view orientation option and from this view orientation option select this side now we can see our shape is looking similar to this one thank you for watching uh, till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different